Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Pisces who are watching. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Pisces, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started and begin with your reading and your energy, Pisces, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Pisces, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Also, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel here. The roles could be reversed. Just however this reading resonates for you, Pisces, please only take what resonates out of it. But let's go ahead and get started with your reading and your energy. Can we please receive a few messages from my Pisces when it comes to this person? Who's this person that Pisces is dealing with currently? What's the energy like between Pisces and this person, please? All right, so we have four messages so far. Let's go ahead and receive two more additional messages to begin with, please, from my Pisces. What else do we need to know here? All right, Pisces, so let's see what we have all together here. We have let's transform our pain into love. We also have, you're an amazing person, and I want you to know that. My love for you will never expire. My love for you will never expire. We also have, I'm strong on what I will not tolerate. I was immature. I know I let you down. And then we also have, my silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you. I'm just not ready. So Pisces, I do feel like this is someone you already know here. And with this person you developed, you may consider it a mind, body, soul connection with them. But for you, Pisces, it was much deeper than the surface level, the physical attraction here. I feel like you saw a lot about or within this person and also their potential, what they could be you believing in this person, seeing these great qualities that this person might mask or hide. And you wanted to bring that out of them, Pisces. So it's like your love, you encouraged this person. You started to have unconditional love for this person, Pisces, but I feel like how they treated or ended this connection with you, it was uncalled for, or it made you feel like your love here wasn't matched or just putting it into perspective in a way that you wouldn't do this to this person because of that's how you how you treat someone you care about so why would i accept that for myself here i also feel like for you pisces you were busy putting your love and loving this person from an open heart that you may have <clears throat> excuse me there you may have overlook the the things that you do deserve to be shown when it comes to someone treating you right and loving you correctly you may have caught on to that what if factor or what could be i know it's possible so let me wait for it or let me just see how things will go with this person let's go ahead and get started here pisces we have let's transform our pain into love i feel like that's your energy here you and this person have been through different experiences or they could even be similar and you've experienced hurt here so has this person so you may have bonded with this person over the hurt here but you hope that instead of using that hurt against one another you two can learn to love one another 
in your own way. Let's not replicate the past and put it in the future here. Let's understand what we have been through individually and know that, know how that has traumatized us or affected us. And let's, let's be something different from what we've experienced here. So although we may have faced trauma or negative memories, moments, experiences, let's not hurt one another with that. So let's transform our pain into love, your energy Pisces. This connection may have also included some ups and downs here, but with those ups and downs, I feel like you always try to find a resolution within that. You always try to move past that with this person. My love for you will never expire. So I feel like this is your energy Pisces in the way that you had unconditional love for this person. And once a person earns your love, your trust, everything there is about you they have a lover for a lifetime so this is definitely the energy that you were willing to put into this person we have you're an amazing person and i want you to know that so this is a personal message for you pisces i feel like deep down this is how this person felt about you and i do apologize pisces if they treated you other than this um but maybe this is something you feel like you should have heard more not exactly this per or so say or exactly not exactly this but just we need or we don't need but it it feels good to hear positive feedback and compliments especially if you're giving them out yourself so just more reassurance on different levels here like this person telling you how they feel about you what they like about you even those simple thank thank yous go a long way here but this is for you pisces i'm strong on what i will not tolerate i feel like this is your energy pisces and even if you stood by this it may have taken you some time to reach your breaking point or to put your hands up when it came to this connection in this person and that's because your love ran deep for them but once you felt like this wasn't going anywhere or you were being walked over i feel, I feel like you chose yourself excuse me pisces so we have i'm strong on what i will not tolerate my silence is not a reflection of how i feel towards you i'm just not ready this person's energy could be your energy in a way as well i feel like this person may have shut down on you pisces they took the easy way out and sometimes that's no communication at all because they don't want to say the harsh truth or they don't want to hurt you or disappoint you but they're ne they're neglecting the fact that you may have already been hurt because of this no communication from their side but i feel like they weren't ready or aren't ready to move forward with you on the same level that you are this could be your energy in the way that my silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you. I do love and have care for you, but I'm just not ready to be in this connection and have it go nowhere or for you to just throw any sort of actions or efforts into this. And I was immature. I know I let you down. I feel like this is this person's energy. Any disappointment that you faced, especially if this is something that has already ended, they could have handled things differently, treated you better, been more mature about things. Okay, let's see what else we have going on for Pisces, please. When it comes to this person and their energy. Okay, let's take from the top here. I'll read these as some extras, but we do have, please don't get discouraged while trying to get to know me. This could be this person's energy. If that is the case, I feel like you did not get discouraged, Pisces. You saw so much more in this person. You gave it time. And I like how you're honest. You are true to yourself and don't change for anyone. You've got my respect. You may have felt this way about this person, Pisces, but as far as your energy, I feel like your people appreciate having you in their life. Like you stand out as a good person, Pisces. And despite the hurt that you may have faced or how people have treated you in the past it's like if you have interest or if you like someone whether it be romantically or as a friend it's like you're going to start from a fresh clean slate with them you're not going to let the hurt define you and how you treat people moving forward all right let's go 
let's go ahead and receive one more message, please, from my Pisces. What else do we need to know here? We'll take this message, Pisces. So we have my love for you is just getting started. Are you going to get tired of this? My love or my feelings, I do apologize for the typo on this one. My feelings for you overflows the cup. Let's put that up, up top. And we also have I'm willing to start fresh if you are. So with your love, Pisces, unconditional love, my love for you is just getting started. There's so much more to come from my side. I just need to know that you're on board here. The feelings are mutual. You're as equally invested. And even if you don't feel 100% prepared, but you still are interested, communicate that with me. So there was, the best was yet to come with you, Pisces, but you didn't hold back your love with this person. And my feelings for you overflows the cup, your energy, Pisces, and with your feelings overflowing the cup, you couldn't contain them. So it's like this person definitely knew how you felt, but are you going to get tired of this? Feel like this was your energy pisces what you question this person about or even thinking to yourself Not noticing this person's body language their communication something fell off here and i'm willing to start fresh if you are so this is for my pisces who are dealing with this person coming back trying to reconcile but once again this could also be your energy tying that in with I'm just not ready. My silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you. I'm just not ready. If this person were to come forward, you may be willing to put the past in the past. And as long as things change, as long as you two are on that mutual understanding of what you want with one another. Last but not least, Pisces, let's see what sign you may be dealing with here. Can we please receive a sign from my Pisces? We have Aquarius. Could be dealing with another Pisces. Aquarius, Pisces. Libra will do one more sign, please, for my Pisces, and that is Scorpio. Scorpio came out Pisces, but you may be dealing with any sign, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.